One of the more recent features added to Google Classroom was the ability to insert a YouTube video and add questions onto that video. Now that we've had time for this to roll out to everyone, let's have another look at it. Here on Google Classroom, I'm going to open up my Geography Year 7 class. And under Classwork, you will see I've already prepared a topic, our planet Earth, with three assignments. We have the assignment on map skills, we have an assignment on the Earth's layers and then a third assignment on plate tectonics. Now I want to add a fourth assignment and this will be that video with interactive questions. So let's go ahead and click on create assignment and let's title this assignment for plate tectonics continued. This will be that follow up video. Now the instructions for the students will be very basic. We're going to say watch the video and answer the included questions. So we are going to include some questions into this video. I have already found a video which is excellent and I've got it here prepared on YouTube. Now, this is one way of doing it. You don't have to find the video prior to making your assignment. I will show you later how you can search within Google Classroom. But for now, I'm going to copy this URL. You can right click and copy, or alternatively, you could use your preferred shortcuts. I'm going to go back to Google Classroom. And now at the bottom, I'm going to click on YouTube. Now, do note, this interface looks different for free or fundamental users of Google Workspace for Education and Google Workspace for Education Plus users. The free or fundamentals edition will let you add a video. However, if you are on the Plus domain, you can check with your administrator if you are on that Google Workspace for Education Plus domain, you can also add questions. And that's where the difference lies. So let's go ahead and paste that URL right here. Now, if I hadn't already searched for a video, I could do a search right here in this field. But for now, let's paste that URL. I'm going to click on the magnifying glass with a search icon to find that video. Here you can preview the video, you can read the description, and then once you are happy with everything, you can move on to the next step. If you are on the Google Workspace Fundamentals Edition, the next step will be to embed it and add it onto your assignment. If you are on the Google Workspace Plus or Paid Edition, then you can also add questions and you will see that button here, add questions. So this is where it is different for two different editions. We're going to preview the video. I'm just going to mute this for now. Okay, so we have our video here. As you can see, lots of excellent visuals in that video. So let's move on to the next part, add questions. Under add questions, I am now going to be prompted to select where I would like to add my questions. So we are going to go ahead and find that spot. I'm going to watch the video and we can find the area within the video where we would like to ask a question. So for example, we can pause the video right here where it talks about Alfred Wagner. Now I'm going to quickly follow this up with a question. So just after this has disappeared, I'm going to add a question. So let's just play this. There we go. And we are going to click on add. Now we have three options. We can either add a multiple choice question, we can have tick boxes, or we can have an open-ended question. In other words, a single correct answer, multiple correct answers, or the students have to type their own answer. I'm going to go for a multiple choice. And I'm going to say, um, who was the person mentioned in the video? Now, this is a very basic question. They've just watched it, so they should be able to remember. First option, Albert Einstein. And the second option, Alfred Wagner. Wagner. I think that's how you spell it. There we go. Alfred Wagner. Now, I don't need more options. So what I can do is I can click on these little X icons to remove these options. If you wanted to add more options, you can click on add an option and you can add multiple options. Now I'm going to click on save and continue. And when I click on save and continue, I'm going back to the video and the video will continue because it assumes that I want to add multiple questions. 
So here you will see, you get a little reminder that at 1 minute 38, you have that multiple choice question. Forward a little bit farther. Here we have another person, let's see, Harry Hess. Now he was a geologist. So what I'm going to ask is what his speciality was. And I'm going to give them the option to type it themselves. So tell me about Harry Hess. So here at the bottom, I'm going to click on add. I'm going to use open ended. And I'm going to say, using this video and your textbooks, tell me about Harry Hess. So this is an open-ended question for this video. Again, I can click on save and continue. Now let's go ahead and add in one more question. Now let's move on and find one more location. So here we go. We have an overview of the different layers. And then here it talks that we're in the crust, not the mantle. So that's what I will ask our students. Crust or mantle. So I'm going to add another multiple choice question. I'm going to say, which section did we talk about? And then two options. We have the crust and the mantle. Now, one thing I did forget before is you do have to let Google Classroom know which of these two or three or more is the correct answer. So make sure that you do not forget to tick the correct answer just like this and then click on save and continue. Now I'm happy with this. I can have a quick look here. I can go to start the first multiple choice question. You can see I've ticked the correct answer right here. We have an open-ended question, a multiple choice question, correct answer selected, and then the finish of the video. Now, what I really like is that you can try this out as a student. So here at the top, you can see it has the option to try it as a student prior to attaching it to your Google Classroom assignment. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to try it as a student. This is going to open up a new view. This is what the student will see. At the bottom, the instructions, two multiple choice questions, an open-ended question, watch the video all the way from the beginning to the end. We can start watching it right here. And there we go. You can see the video starts playing. It brings me to the first multiple choice question. I'm going to select the wrong answer. So I'm going to select Albert Einstein and click Submit. And I immediately see that this was wrong. It tells me, try another answer. This was not correct. There we go. Try again. This time we are correct. This brings us to the open-ended question. Here we can then type our answer. We have a multiple choice. Again, we can select the answer and finish. If you wanted to make any changes to this, you can always go back to the edit and start tweaking your questions. So here at the bottom, you can see there is a little bit of information on the different questions. And we have that overview on the timeline. If you are ready to attach it to your assignment now, click on attach and this will automatically be brought into your Google Classroom assignment, ready to be sent to your students. Now I'm going to add it to the correct topic. There we go, our planet Earth. And let's go ahead and assign this to our students. I've clicked on assign. Our students are now going to start answering. Now, let's say that your student is skipping questions and having lots of wrong answers they will get a warning before they submit their activity. So here you can see it has a friendly reminder. Don't forget to answer all questions before turning it in. You can also look at that summary. So when they click on see summary, they will immediately see that. This is also communicated to the teacher. So you can see there is one skipped question. Two out of two multiple choice questions are correct. And there is one that needs a teacher review the teacher will have to manually go in and review this question. I can then click on the return to the skipped question and answer this. It's going to say not applicable and then submit. Once you've clicked on submit, this has now gone to your teacher. This open-ended question, I can still change this, but once my teacher has reviewed it, that's it. They will assign a grade or they will assign a mark and I can no longer change it. So that's how you can add a YouTube video to Google Classroom assignments, add your own questions and assign it to your students. I hope this was helpful. You make it possible each and every week for me to post these videos. If you too would like to become either a Patreon super supporter or a YouTube channel member, all the information is down below in the description.
Our Patreon supporters, they get access to these videos on Patreon ad-free and everyone else on YouTube, they will get early access as well as some additional benefits. So do check out the channel memberships down below or our Patreon page. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.